All right, welcome to another episode of my video blog talking about GMAT and GRE. Um, on today's episode, I kind of really want to focus on the question we get a lot from students, which is how long should you prepare for the GMAT and GRE test? That's a question that's very popular. And a lot of people are asking it because they're not sure if they're studying long enough or they're studying too short. Most students um, who are preparing to go to grad school might think, oh, you know what, I have a lot of work experience. I'll probably have the test kind of you know waived by the schools. But to be honest with you, a lot of the schools want you to take the GMAT and GRE for their accreditation um, because they need to make sure that the students they're accepting are along the lines of the, what the accreditation requires them to do. So be prepared to take the GMAT or GRE test. So you want to give yourself enough time. Now, um, generally, those who write, um, the, the companies that actually write the GMAT and GRE test recommend that you study for three months, meaning three months of dedicated study. Pretty much it's the focus thing, the one focus thing you're doing for three months. Now, you know, when you're doing that for three months, one of the things students realize is they go to the bookstore, get a book, try to study by themselves, and they realize, you know what, I'm really going to struggle with this stuff. I, I really don't remember a lot of these things very well. So our recommendation here at Success Prep is to, one, study for about, a, try to study for a month by yourself, meaning kind of get the books, kind of get started reviewing basic things, you know. So a place like khanacademy.org is a really good place to kind of study up on your math. If you're doing the GRE, start working on your vocabulary. And then what you're going to realize very quickly is you're only going to be able to go so far studying by yourself. At that point, you probably want to start looking into a prep course. Um, and here at successprep.com, we actually offer prep courses here in Atlanta and also around the world, actually, online as well. So one of the things you want to do is jump to a prep course. So that would be a very good way to spend your month two. So month one, you want to start studying and getting some basics by yourself. Month two, you want to um, actually jump into a prep course. And also by month three, you know, usually a prep course is going to last somewhere around four or five, maybe six weeks. And then at that point, you're pretty much running into that third month. And in that third month, you want to kind of tie up everything. Remember, you started studying by yourself. You went to a prep course to get some more expert um, help on, on the different topics on the GMAT and GRE. And into that third month, you want a situation where you're able to kind of finish up some study with yourself as well. Because what's going to happen is a prep course is going to tell you a lot of good information. But guess what? You're still going to need to spend some time kind of tidying up some certain things before you go take the test. You don't want to take the test the very next day after a prep course ends because you're going to find out there's still some things you want to kind of tidy up on before you go take the test. So that's my tip for today. You should take, you should be planning to take, when you're planning to take the GMAT or GRE test, you should plan to spend about three months of dedicated study to do that. And, and that is going to be my tip today. I wish you the very best as you study for the GMAT test and GMAT and GRE test. Take care.